Hello, good day my dear students. Welcome to this video session. Here you can learn the theorems on angles formed by tangents and secants. Or you can learn how to find the measure of the angles formed by the tangents and secants. But before we proceed to those theorems, let's define first what is a tangent and a secant. A tangent is a line that intersects a circle at exactly one point. And the point of intersection of the line and the circle is called the point of tangency. So as you can see in this figure, the tangent line here is line PG. And then the point of tangency is point T. While a secant line is a line that intersects a circle at exactly two points. So here, the secant line is line SE. The difference between the two is that a tangent line intersects a circle at exactly one point. While a secant line intersects a circle at exactly two points. Let's have now the first theorem on angles formed by tangents and secants. So we have intersecting secants exterior theorem. This states that if two secants intersect in the exterior of the circle or outside the circle, then the measure of the angle formed is one half the positive difference of the measure of the intercepted arcs. To find the angle form, wherein the angle form is angle X, P, Y. So to find the measure of this angle form, you need to get the half of the positive difference of the two arcs. So these are the arcs. The bigger arc is arc X, Y, and the smaller arc is arc N, M. So subtract the bigger arc by the measure of the smaller arc and then divide it by 2. So that is how you find the measure of the angle of the angle form by intersecting secants outside the circle. For example, if we have this figure, the measure of the bigger arc is 80 degrees and the measure of the smaller arc is 20 degrees. So to find the measure of this angle form, which is angle J and K, so let's write let's write the solution angle J and K. You need to subtract 80 degrees or the measure of the bigger arc by the measure of the smaller arc and divide it by 2. So 80 degrees minus 20 degrees is 60 degrees. Divided by 2, you have angle J and K equals 30 degrees. So the measure of this angle, this angle is 30 degrees. Next, we have another theorem which is tangent secant angle theorem. So, if an angle is formed by a secant and a tangent that intersect in the exterior of the circle or outside the circle, then the measure of the angle is one half the difference of the measures of its intercepted part. So, the same with the first theorem. Since the intersection is outside the circle, you will also get the difference of the two arcs. So, bigger arc, arc LEC, minus the smaller arc, arc LG, and divide it by two or get one half of it. For example, if you are looking for the measure of angle ORP, you need to subtract the bigger arc and the smaller arc and divide it by so for the solution, angle ORP is equal to 160 degrees minus 40 degrees divided by 2. 
So 160 minus 40 is 120 degrees and divided by 2 so we have 60 degrees. Therefore, this angle measures 60 degrees. Another theorem we have intersecting secants interior theorem. If two secants intersect in the interior of the circle or inside the circle, then the measure of the angle formed is one half. The sum of the measures of the intercepted arc. So here it is different from the previous two theorems since the intersection is not anymore outside the circle but it is inside the circle. And since the intersection is inside the circle, you will not subtract the measure of the two arcs. Instead, you will add the measures. And as you can see, we have here two angle measures. We have the measure of angle 1 and the measure of angle 2. Because the, uh, the intercepted arcs of the two angles are different. If you want to look for the measure of angle 1, this angle, you need to consider the measure of intercepted arc or arc WR and arc XS. But if you want to get the measure of angle 2, you will consider the measure of arc RS and arc WX. For example, if you are looking for this angle, of course you will consider these arcs. So this is by the way, this angle, this is angle EHF. So to get the measure of this angle, you will add the measures of the two intercepted arcs. So 70 degrees plus 30 degrees. And then divide it by 2 after. So 70 degrees plus 30 degrees is 100 degrees. Divided by 2, you have 50 degrees. Next theorem is tangent-tangent angle theorem. So if an angle is formed by two intersecting tangents, so as you can see, we have here two tangent line. We have line HQ and line PQ. And these two tangents intersect outside the circle. So again, the intersection is outside the circle. So to get the measure of this angle form, you need again to subtract the measure of the bigger arc by the measure of the smaller arc and then divide it by 2. So for example, to find the measure of this angle, so this is angle WXV. So you need to subtract the measure of the bigger arc which is 200 degrees by the measure of the smaller arc which is 70 degrees and then divide it by 2. So 200 minus 70 is 130 degrees. Divided by 2 you have 65 degrees. So therefore this angle measures 65 degrees. So, for the last theorem, we have tangent point secant theorem. If a secant and a tangent intersect at the point of tangency, the measure of, the, of each angle formed is one half the measure of its intercepted arc. So, in this case, the point of intersection is neither inside nor outside, but it is on the circle. So to get the measure of this angle form, we just need to divide the measure of the arc. Let's say for example, to find the measure of angle QSR, this angle, you just need to divide the measure of arc QS. And to find the measure of angle QSW, you just need to divide the measure of arc QTS. For example, this one. Okay, so to find this angle, this angle form, you just simply divide this arc measure. So angle SUT is equal to 210 degrees divided by 2. 
So, angle SUT is equal to 105 degrees. So, this angle is 105 degrees. And since this is equal to 105 degrees, this angle is equal to 75 degrees since the two angles are supplementary and they form a straight angle okay now so it is your chance to answer the same problem you can comment your answer on the comment section thank you and goodbye